Tonight, a Uvalde school shooting survivor is really looking forward to the Super Bowl this year. He's where San Antonio's Amanda Henderson explains how the game and one NFL football player in particular is helping him to heal. Football is a family affair for Jordan Olivares and his mom, Virginia Vela. We've always wanted to go to a football game, a professional football game. It's a moment Virginia says they needed. The first day, he was already having the best time of his life. Jordan is a survivor of the Robb Elementary School shooting in which 19 children and two teachers died. Virginia and EMT treated the injured that tragic day. This instinct to to jump in and help, you know, and no, I didn't think. I didn't know if he was alive or not. She says the past seven months have been difficult for Jordan. He went into survivor mode and he has not stopped. After the mass shooting, the family connected with the charity Victims First. That charity then connected them with former Longhorn and current Minnesota Vikings cornerback Chris Boyd, who wanted to help a family impacted by the shooting. I was surprised because um, my mom had said it was a counseling, and <laughs> he looked, I'm like, that ain't my counselor. <laughs> he had said, if me and my family would like to go to the game against the Vikings and the Jets. Jordan said yes, and the family also got to go watch the Vikings practice. It was when he helped break down the huddle that the family got the ultimate surprise. Then they have Arizona right here and then State Farm Stadium. Yes, you're reading those tickets right. Jordan and his mom will be going to the Super Bowl next month. I did pull Chris aside and I did thank him and um, I did tell him how much this meant to us, how much it meant to me. Chris also took the family to a hockey game and set them up with basketball tickets, as well as hooking them up with Vikings gear, including the cleats he wore at the game they attended. Now the family says they are forever fans and hope to see their new best friends playing for the championship in about a month in Arizona. It was good to see and um, especially for my son to see that there is still good out there. There's still good people and they're doing good things. Reporting in Uvalde, I'm Amanda Henderson.